So any advanced drum programming techniques in Logic have to include the topic of MIDI effects. MIDI effects used to be created down in the environment, and it was stuff down in here and just very difficult kind of stuff to, to get going and very difficult to build. See if I can show you the right there, MIDI transformers. So see all this stuff, quantized note length and all this kind of stuff are now reskinned as instruments. Okay, so I have one drummer track. This this track is nothing, I'm gonna delete it. Got one drummer track and it's just ordinary stuff. In fact, I should make it less ordinary, but whatever, I don't care. Ho oh, hum, right? Southern California boring crap. Let's add some MIDI effects to this. I have to do this by saying hide this, hide this. And on every channel strip is a MIDI area. Okay, so if I were to create a new one, that's probably why I had that other one in there. A new one, this is the MIDI effects area and you'll see it on every single channel strip. And you have these choices you can read for yourself. Some of them are worthless for what we're trying to do here, this one being one of them. Some are relatively interesting. So let's have a listen. I just have them on in bypass mode so we can hear him. So the randomizer is just this thing here, and I'm gonna turn it on, listen carefully. It's randomizing how hard the hits of the stick of drummer are, which is cool. I have all these other things that I can try as well. Some of them do interesting things. Okay. This has to do with which notes are going to be affected and how much. Okay, that's the randomizer. Note repeater is kind of interesting as well. I have the ability to, you know, pull down some settings here. And I've got one sort of built here, but I'll just turn it on. Basically, I'm getting multiple MIDI notes up and down the scale if you listen to it. I can get them in different patterns. Sometimes a triplet doesn't work as good. This dotted. Eighth dotted is the nicest one here. Right there, dotted quarter note. So D stands for dotted, T stands for triplet. And I can widen how much it grabs in terms of the MIDI note ranges of the drummer. And I can narrow it. Increase the amount of repeats. Lessen them. Doesn't take too long to realize that that could be mapped to a knob and, and uh, become an interesting performance. Transposer, same thing. This just moves the MIDI note patterns up.
So say I like my pattern, I just don't like the notes. Narrow the range there. To a different scale. And you could see where you might have a long drum track and bypass this transposer in and out. Could be cool. Lastly, and there are other ones in here to play around, but these are the ones that make the most effect is the velocity. And it's all quite self-explanatory. Okay, so all of these are MIDI note effects and they're found in the channel strip settings right in this area here. MIDI note effects and in relation to creating interest with drum programming.